a thorough understanding of the question. And so for that, I feel that for this type of questions, the model will work very well because I'm going to show you that uh, this was taken from PSLE uh, last year, um, paper two, question five. Uh, I think a lot of students make palace mistake on this, <laughs> including some of my students as well. Uh, so the thing is, how do we avoid that callous mistake? One is by drawing it out. Because when you don't draw, we just assume that, oh, you know, certain make certain assumptions. So let's take, let's take a look at this question here. Ken had $15 more than Lisa at first. So after Ken gave some of his money to Lisa, uh, he had $21 less than Lisa. Okay, so how much money did Ken give to Lisa? Although I know that is a two marks question. So the more you should not be making long, complicated algebraic expressions and equations, right? So this question is, okay, let's start with at first, since we are told of the relationship, uh, okay, both at first and in the end, I would say that it's always easier to work from the beginning. So having said that, all right, so I will draw a longer model for can, right? And how much longer? 15. So you see that for this type of question, the most important thing to take note is the difference. Okay. And then as we go through more of these examples, you will identify at the end of this session, what are the underlying attributes of this type of questions that make model drawing so effective? Oh, you got the answer already? <laughs> okay, so let me take a look here. So this is Ken and this is Lisa. At the same time, um, the mother will give you, um, will help you refine your train of thoughts. So let's say this is 15, right? Uh, not, not let's say this is the question itself. Okay, this is what happened at first. And we were told that Ken gave some of his money to Lisa. And in the end, he had $21 less than Lisa. So let's imagine the uh, scenario. If, let's say, Ken gave $15, all right, to Lisa, what would the difference be? Then Lisa would have $15 more, right? So you see that the model is very clear. It's self-explanatory. So he must have given more than $15, right? But the thing is, I do not know how much was given, all right? So I do not know. Okay, let me adjust the thing here a bit. All right. The thing is, I do not know how much exactly, but I know that it has to be more than 15 because going by the mother, it uh, doesn't make sense that, um, you know, it's less than 15 because if I, if Ken would give 15, all right, yeah, then Lisa will only have 15 more. So obviously, I have to cut into this portion of the model, right? So draw the dotted lines comparing Ken and Lisa, because this is what we call a comparison. So comparison, of course, I must compare the two, right? So I must continue to cut into this portion here. That means it will be something more than 15. And okay, let's call it a name so that it's easier for us to express it. This is one unit. So correspondingly, this must be the same one unit. Right. Okay. And if that's the case, so what happens now? I would have to do the change. And so it brings down with, or uh, rather this part, the one unit. All right. Plus 25. Oh, sorry. Plus 15. And what were we told? So this is the 15. And so in the end, Ken had $21 less. So are we work, Are we able to work out what is one unit here? So uh, in this case, let me highlight where is the problem that most students make. All right. This is where the problem is. Most students will just think that it's 21 minus 15 or something weird numbers. They've forgotten about this part here. Remember, this type of question, what is tricky because of what we call internal transfer? If can give it to someone else, this portion, yeah, is not um this it will not be that tricky as compared to the case when Ken is giving to Lisa. 
if you can give it to someone else, the question would be much uh, simpler. That is why you see that we have a lot of such similar questions because this is where the trick is. So that's, that's, that's what I always tell students. If you know that this is the trick, would you fall into it again? No, probably you will not. So I hope that by the end of the session and uh, as you practice it, you will not make the same mistake that uh, what you could have done previously. Okay, so I think Melissa is helping me uh, <laughs> to check uh, those replies. So thank you. So you can see that, yeah, the answer is now, is it clearer? That we were told that is actually this $6, so one unit is uh, $3. And remember what was given away? $3 plus the 15. Okay, so students, um, did you get your answer right? So later I'll give you some um, questions to practice at the same time. All right, and uh, I see how I can give you worksheets in advance so that you can go to the questions and prepare yourself for that. And yeah, you see how it can turn out, okay? So did y'all get an answer? Yeah? So how much money did Ken give to Lisa? 18? So uh, how many of you got it right? Yeah, so... Okay. Can we move on?